Later na. Later na lang. Oh, later. Later. Later na lang ang laptop. Nag-webinar. we I know shall we start Thank <laughs> you. 
Nagamit, wigang. <laughs> Nakakonek siyang, ano. Mami, hindi ko nakasalod ang third year sa link. Atong ginatag ni sir, ang bago. Tara na. Ito tinatag ni sir. Ang bago. Tara na. Eh, sorry. Naka, ano.
Hello, Amriya. Amriya, hello. Amriya, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, I'm here. Okay, good morning, Mom. Wait, lang na, sorry. Hello. Good morning. Hi, students. Good morning. Smile, mga kamube. Morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, mas tayo na ta. Okay, ganun, sir, no? Sige. Ah, uh, Oh, tanan ang mic except sang MC. Then ready ka na rin. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige ga. Mas stop oh, presentation na ni. Oh, i stop ko na yung presentation. Mas stop. And then, ma-present ko sa Chrome tag. Mm. Oh, sige, gang. Ma-share lang ko ito ito, guy. Ah, sige. Start na, ma'am. Oo. Agriculture was the first occupation of men, and as it embraces the whole earth, it is the foundation of all other industries. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our webinar on sustainable farming system. I am Lenny Vigilaran, your host for today. To start, let us feel the presence of our Lord through prayer and to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem through the multimedia. Another Ayala Why come I share? Hello, Mom Ray. Huh? Nagibi show. Why? Wait, lang ha? Ah, okay. Dahil lang i-play ko liwat, ha? Kaya, may ko na-play na kinapresent. Nalang nag-error. Ha? Thank <laughs> you. 
Isa pa. Wait lang. Alright na. Tama. To welcome us with today's activity, let us hear a message from Dr. Julius T. Vergara, Dean College of Agricultural Sciences. Before I will start, I would like to request everybody to please uh, on your camera. To see you all. Because we have to do a screenshot first. Smile and I smile. Waki, waki. One, two. Okay, so uh, good day to everyone. So I would like Morning, to congratulate your uh, uh, group under the leadership of uh, your professor, uh, Ms. Ria Joy Flora. No? So for uh, the uh, enrolled students of uh, the uh, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture program of JC Paterna Annex, your group was the first to utilize this uh, uh, platform for you to continue your activities. No? So, shall we give a warm of applause to all of you no? for uh, having this activity. No? So, thank you very much for... Uh, accepting the challenge to continue learning even we are under pandemic uh, period so another good thing for uh, covid is uh, without this pandemic uh, we have not a chance to explore this platform in view of this instruction so all of us even uh, your faculty uh, are uh, learning also how to uh, 
look for a platform wherein we can continue to deliver our services, wherein we can continue our learning activities. No? So I hope that um, for the whole semester you will continue your uh, effort. You will continue of applying your requirements at the same time. I am very hopeful that uh, at the end of the semester you will have uh, things that can get uh, from uh, this activity that uh, you will have. And uh, uh, I would like to remind everybody to continue to practice uh, health protocols. You have to wear always a mask, a shield, and always uh, disinfect when you are from uh, other places. Hope and pray that uh, we will uh, go back to normal next semester uh, to continue our face-to-face instruction. So to all of you, congratulations and uh, God bless to all. Thank you so much, sir. At this juncture, may we have Professor Rayo Joy B. Flora, subject professor at the same time program head of the College of Agricultural Sciences for the statement of purpose. Ma'am. Hello, everyone. Uh, congratulations. Uh, we made this first webinar. Okay, ma'am, sir? Naka-on ako ng camera. Hindi kita on. Naka-on ko dalhin. Wala, ma'am. Kita on. Hindi. Ay, wala. Why? Ayan na. Why? 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 Hmm? Nahaw. Naka-on man ko. We, dahil lang. You. Ha? Hmm? Naka-ano how? Oo, naka- Ay! Wala man? Why ko naka-present? Na naka-off to all ako niya ka mo. Turn on. Turn off. On. Gamula na siya. Wait lang, guys. Why? My camera. Kita niyo ang kukina? Di ba nakita niyo ang kukina? Oo, oh, ma'am. Oo, oh, ma'am. <laughs> Why? Dito lang ako kay sir. Eh. <laughs> Dito ka lang. No, wala lang. Masa ilo na lang ko. Hello guys. Um, uh, congratulations. Uh, we made this first webinar and we also streamed it sa YouTube. So now uh, other students are watching us right now. So uh, although we are here only Lost ang connection, sir. Hindi clear out yan. Hello, okay. So, magulabog at ang Google Meet para mag-i-tipon sa pila ka participants. 
Sulat po na yan kami. So, what, what we did as, as advised by Dean, uh, we will stream it live sa YouTube. So, panel na po. So, other students are doing what we ask. And he will be doing, uh, they will be joining also later sa no? So, well, uh, I would like to congress uh, group one for uh, having reached this far. Actually, I really uh, congratulate, uh, congratulate you because uh, even though medyo no, ang agwani ang kasi ang training, but then you uh, decided, you are decided to, to join with this webinar. Although it's a requirement for the course, no, we actually uh, normally uh, normal as uh, so a face-to-face learning. Not um, we are conducting face-to-face trainings. So, nagakanda kita. So, ang naupang namun, medyo pa uh, magiging ball ang ato niya learning. So, hindi kita maka-experience ang bago ba lang uh, technique, no? Under COVID-19 pandemic. So, what we did is, um, we will go with what is being uh, utilized right now to deliver learning to the to the community. So actually, uh, ang pandemic nyo ni nakahabad ng vaccine, nakabulig yung platform, na ma-utilize natin yung mga platform. Before, wala nyo natin na discover. Although, ang iba na discover nyo ni, pero sabong na-utilize it siya natin. So, it's very helpful na uh, even after uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and we cannot have our face-to-face -face learning. Um, we are here right now and uh, trying to continue learning with the, uh, this uh, platform that we have right now, the Google News and YouTube. So, ang um, ato ang agriculture when we are deployed later, we will be deployed later to the different agencies. We will be um, training farmers. So it's very important that you really have to know how to conduct the type of uh, webinars in case that face to face learning is not possible. Now, uh, we are so thankful, and I am so thankful that all of you um, tried really hard to join this webinar. Ang webinar natin is actually every and mga lang, twice a month, no? So, and then we will have a uh, webinar that will be organized by you. You will invite outsiders uh, in that group. So, ma deliver kita ng activity to the farmers na ma-reach natin no? with the, the use of this platform. Okay, so I know uh, we have consumed a lot of time uh, for the, the preparation of this first webinar. So I know the second group and third and fourth group will have last one from us. No, So I, I know it will be smoothly delivered uh, later. Uh, some Ah, post na lang mag-cover itungod niya. Experience na natin kung paano siya i-run. So, buong medyo nadigoy ito ba yan siya kay tungod niya? Ano siya? So, I hope you guys enjoy what you are learning right now. And please, mga group na nabilin at and to prove with the have okay so I would like also to the presence of our extension coordinator Sir Ring Rowe uh, who is here also with us so today uh, he will be joining us also for the duration of the webinar and also I would like to meet other year levels uh, from first year to third year who also join uh, the webinar using the YouTube channel so thank you so much guys and then I hope you will enjoy what we have uh, uh, prepared for you right now and the third group will be a quiz before the the four will deliver their 
presentation. So, thank you so much. Stay safe, guys. And God bless everyone. Thank you so much, Ma'am Rhea. So, this time, before we proceed with our topics this morning, may we have again Professor Razor Flora for the quiz. Okay. So, guys, uh, I have sent you the link you know, where we can go to myquiz.com so I will now open the quiz and send to you the the link or the, the code no so that we can start let me know through uh, through group chat if you are already ready, no, later. So, I will, uh, galoading pa siya, so dali lang get. Okay. Nagang ni hao. So, dali lang ko guys, ha, pihak sa kay sir na lang. Wait lang, wait lang. Pati ayo ko. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I will move to ano na lang. Yes, ma'am, pati on. Yes, ma'am. Wait lang ha, may open ko lang ang may join, may quiz. Uh, okay. Facebook. Sir, open mo Facebook, sir. <laughs> Nagahang to sa pihak. Nagahang ang laptop ni Sir Pags. Sa kongro. Sa signal. Sa signal. Hmm. Join my quiz. Ano nga kwento? Okay, later na lang. Ma-move na lang sila na yun. Hello, guys. Len. Ma'am. Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am na lang sa next. Ano? Okay, ayan. Ano ko lang karoon ng my quiz later na lang. Ah, sige, sige, ma'am. Share ready na siya. So we won't keep you waiting. This, this time, let us hear from our first speaker, Miss Shalane Erbete, on her topic, organic farming. Sure. Microphones. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I present to you about uh, organic farming. Wait lang yun ah. Okay na. No. Kita on. Aray, 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 aray. 
Gigda galing. Okay na, okay na. Okay na. Okay na. Organic farming is the farming system to grow crops with avoiding or excluding the synthetic fertilizers or herbicides and pesticides. The key characteristics of organic farming relies primarily on local renewable resources, makes efficient use of solar energy in the production potential of biological systems, maintains and fertility of the soil, maximizes recycling of plant nutrients and organic matter, does not use organisms or substances foreign to nature, maintains diversity in the production system as well as the agricultural landscape, gives farm animals life conditions that correspond to their ecological role and allow them a natural behavior. Careful attention to the impact of the farming system on the wider environment and the conservation of wildlife and natural habitats. Why organic farming is necessary? Sustainable and eco-friendly technology. It improves quality, shelf, and nutritive value of the farm produce. It encourages sustainable livelihood of the producers as well as safeguards consumers' health. It improves the physical, chemical, and biological health of the soil, promotes healthy use of the natural resources, and minimizes all forms of the pollution. It enhances and sustains biological diversity within the system. The objectives of organic farming Increase genetic diversity. Promote more usage of natural pesticides. Ensure the right soil cultivation at the right time. Keep and build good soil structure and fertility. Control pests, diseases, and weeds. Benefits of organic farming. Disease and pest resistance. Weed competitiveness. Lower input costs, drought resistance, added value. There are these are the components of organic farming. The farmyard manure. A farmyard manure refers to the decomposed mixture of dung and during of farm animals along with litter left over. The quantity of nutrients in manure varies with type of animal, feed composition, quality and quantity of bedding material, length of storage and storage conditions. A typical applications of 25 hectares of farmyard manure from house organic cattle within 150 kilograms of nitrogen, 35 kilograms of phosphorus, and 140 kilograms of potassium. Crop residues. A crop re residues can be an important source of nutrient to subsequent crops. It is well documented that different quantities of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium and minor nutrients are removed from and returned to the soil depending on the crop species concerned. The quantity and quality of crop residues will clean, influence the buildup of soil organic matter. Green manures. Many crops are grown and at the vegetative stage mix up in the soil just to improve the organic matter of the soil. At vegetative stage, these crops are easily decomposed in soil and work like inorganic fertilizers due to having low sin ratio. Crop rotation. U use of legume crops that provide nutrients by biological nit nitrogen fixation. Use of allelopa allelopathic crops that suppress the growth of weeds. 
continuous monoculture and unacceptable due to the likely increased pressure fr from weeds, pests, and diseases as well as difficulties of maintaining soil fertility. Biofertilizers It is defined as preparation containing living cells of efficient strains of microorganisms that helps crops plant uptake of nutrients by their interaction with dry spare when applied through sand or soil. The most common biofertilizers are nitrogen fixing, phosphorus solubilizing, phosphorus mobilizing, and plant growth promoter. The the pre the principles of organic farming. A principle of health. Organic agriculture should sustain and enhance the health of soil, plant, animal, human, and planet as one and invisible. Healthy soils produce healthy crops and foster the health of animals and people. Health is the wholeness and integrity of living systems. Two so, principles of ecology. Organic agriculture should be should be based on living ecological systems and cycles, work with them, emulate them, and help sustain them. This principle roots organic agriculture within living ecological systems. Three principles of fairness. Organic agriculture should build on relationships that ensure fairness and regard to the common environment and life opportunities. Fairness is characterized by equity, respect, justice, and stewardship of the shared world, both among people and their relations to other living beings. Principles of care. Organic agriculture should be managed in a precautionary and responsible manner to protect the health and well-being of current and future generations in the environment. This principle states that precaution and responsibility are the key concerns in management, development, and technology choices in organic agriculture. Weed management. The one is preventive methods. It is weed free, free crop seed, weed free manure, clean harvesting and plowing equipment. The one is cultural method. It is motor crop, cover crop, crop rotation, optimum plant density and line sowing. Drip irrigation. The third is mechanical method. There are tailage, steel seed bed, hand weeding, hoeing, moving, mulching, and burning. The fourth is soil sterilization. The five is allelopathy. Example of allelopathy is marigold or and congress grass the allelopathy crops having allelochemicals can be used as growth promoter and also for weed control through use of mulch of these crops use these crops in rotation use this crop in intercropping use crops ex extract as foliar spray by incorporate plant tissues in soil That's all. Thank you so much, Miss Shalane Erbete. So questions will be entertained later during the open forum so let us now proceed to our next speaker
Miss Jenna Rose Cordero on her topic, Biodynamic Farming. Jen? Jen, i mana Jen? Topik Jen. Hello, Jen. Because he na yung ano connection man. Okay. Proceed na na. Sige. Jim Boy. Sige. Down the next. We're waiting for for Jen. Ano na? Si Jim Boy ready na. Well, we are waiting for Miss Jen Rose Cordero. We will proceed to the topic permaculture to be given to us by Mr. Jim Boy Villarma. So good morning, everyone. Mam. I landscape, landscape, landscape. Memo phone. Hello, mam. Landscape. Memo phone. Di sana mo landscape. Dah nana. Oh, oh, tu. Arah nana. Arah nana. Ito? Marang doon, okay na. Mula na, mula na. Oo. Oo. Ito na. Ako ni ma'am. Ngayon. Yes, yes. So, good morning everyone. My topic for today is about permaculture. So, what is permaculture? 
Permaculture is a blueprint for the way we live our lives. It's more than just some dry and dusty philosophy. It moves beyond theory and gives us range of practical solutions that we can use in everyday area of our lives. Permaculture was originally in a world made up the two words permanent and agriculture. But now the scope is broader and permaculture is more often defined as permanent culture. So here is some uh, brief history of permaculture. Permaculture was created in 1970s by Bill Mollison, an Australian ecologist and University of Tasmania professor. He had spent many years out here in nature as a wildlife biologist, observing how natural systems work and become very distressed at the destruction that he saw going on around him. He decided that instead of being angry about what was happening, in reacting against the destruction, he wanted to work on creating a positive solution, and he thought the solution would be living based on the patterns he had observed in nature. So, permaculture idea, yes. First one is collect and save energy. Second is close material loops. Third is layer functions. Fourth is maintain diversity. And the Fifth is mimic ecosystem or natural ecosystem. So, permaculture zones. Zoning is a permaculture design technique that positions the elements like herbs, trees, chicken house, and are designed in areas according to their need or our use. So, there are six types of zoning. First one is the home. Indoor production includes sprouts and ferments, and processing of food, waste, water collection, repairs, and education. The second one is the zone one. The area nearest the home or area of most traffic elements that place in zone one requires daily attention, observation, and frequent uptake. So, examples of zone one is um, garden, workshop, greenhouse, and animals. The zone 2. The area is semi-intensely managed and requires observation and maintenance every few days and often referred to as home or chart. So, example naman sa zone 2 is uh, poultry, ponds, and mix or chart. Next one is zone 3. It is known as the farming zone that includes field crops, production areas. This is where the main crops are grown that require minimal maintenance and attention once established. Example is uh, pastures, ranges for meat animals, and main crops. The zone 4. It is a semi-managed area full of self-sustaining forests and woodlots that require very little care or attention. This area is where wild foods and timber are collected Zone 4 may also be used to pasture animals on occasion to manage and control tree growth. Trees may also be thinned in this area in order to allow for select varieties to grow. Zone 4 is often used as a buffer between wilderness areas and cultivated. For example, yung sila mga unprone trees, wildlife, and forest. Zone 5. It is an unmanaged wilderness area that requires no intervention. This area is visited for recreation and appreciation and is made up of naturally occurring plants and wildlife. So, there is a building ang forest. So, design and frameworks. Permaculture has borrowed many useful thinking tools to from different places, including several design frameworks from other disciplines one commonly used is SADI. SADI stands for uh, Survey, Analysis, Design, and Implementation. Survey. Both the needs of the client and the landscape will be meeting those needs. This might will include some mapping. The more focus given to this observation stage, the better a design is likely to be. So, next one is Analysis. This is the stage where we take all the information we gathered and use the ethics, principles, 
and appropriate design tools and methods to help us decide the best elements to choose and how to best connect them together into resilient low input high output systems. Hello, John Boy. Yes, ma'am. Hello, John Boy. Ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Design. This is where commit our ideas producing maps and lists that communicate our ideas to our clients. We, while attractive maps are helpful at this stage, including your reasons for decisions can help illuminate the design process and increase the likelihood of the clients understanding the bigger picture of how it is intended to function. So the last one is implement. At some point, we have to take our ideas and put them into practice. However, we might, however much time we take to deliberate, we'll still be surprised by some things that don't work as planned. So we should not be afraid to take action only by implementing the design. Do we learn how we will it go the attention to, sur to the survey and analysis stage should limit them to smallish one. So permaculture principles allows us to create a culture. The first one is care for planet. So this can be taken to mean caring for the living soil. So another one is care for people. So we know that the concept of permaculture is permanent culture. So how can we develop permanent culture if our people are abandoned, uncared, and excluded? So the concept of people care is to provide basic needs like shelter, foods, and education, and employment. The last one is the fair share. So the fair share, we are setting limits and uh, redistributing surplus. The 12 principles of permaculture. First one is observe and, and interact. Being observant in responding to what you see is really important in moving toward towards a more ethical and sustainable way of life. Second one is catch and store energy. So energy is abundant on our planet. Also, learning how to catch and store the energy in plants with renewable energy infra infrastructure or in other ways is the key to living sustainable way of life. For example, is uh, growing your own food at home. Three is obtain a yield. Taking the three, four ethics of permaculture into account, we can work with nature to get all the things we need. Obtaining a yield can be as simple as using organic gardening techniques to provide food for a family. But it can also be about obtaining a non-tangible yield, happiness, health, and mental well-being. Four, apply prediction and feedback. Understanding where we've been succeed and where we're gone wrong is vitally important to create real and lasting change. For example, by analyzing and evaluating all the things that we bring into our homes, we can make better purchasing decisions moving forwards. Reducing, reusing, recycling, and regulating our worst consumerist tendencies. Number five, use in value renewables. By using the power of sun, the wind, or the water, we can power our homes, grow our food, and regenerate our environment. So, example sa uh, number five is ang um, windmill. Number six, Produce new waste. Moving towards a zero waste lifestyle means looking at all the trash we chuck out and trying to eliminate it. We can do this by reducing the amount we buy, by buying wisely, by reusing or recycling where possible, by composting, and by working with ethical companies who look at waste throughout the entire life cycle of their products. Number seven, design from patterns to details. 
whether designing a new vegetable garden or an entire new sustainable way of life, we have to look at the big picture before we get back down into the little things. Thinking holistically about all areas of our lives can help us move towards in positive direction. Eight, integrate, don't segregate. Plants works well in diverse system. The same is true of people too. Planting polycul polycultures are guilds of plants which work together. It's just one example of how, of how the, these principles work in the real world. And as well as a tying, and this is the garden, we can also apply it to communities, groups, and organizations. Sustainability is uh, something we achieve together through collaboration and cooperation. It's not something we do alone. Number nine, use small, slow solutions. Every journey begins with single step. Whenever we try to do too much too soon, it's easy to become overwhelmed. And two big changes can bring big benefits. They bring bigger risk too. Making small, incremental changes is the best way to move towards sustainable change. For example, don't start a farm, try a small windows, window sale garden. Don't overhaul your entire shopping philosophy. Change things on ethical purchase at a time. Number 10. Use and value diversity. Just as ecosystem work based when filled with a greater variety of different plants and animals, so human society functions best when a variety of different people are represented in your garden, home, and your life in general. It is good idea to promote and value diversity in all its form. Number 11. Use edges and value the marginal. Sustainable Sustainability is about making use of all resources that we have our disposal. Whether we are talking about the land use, workplace, homes, or society in general, making use all we have involves valuing fringes and fringe elements. This might be as simple as using a neglected corner of your outside space to grow more food, or something more abstract like thinking outside the box. Number 12. Creatively use and respond to change. Finally, change is an inevitable part of life. It's important to remember what permaculture isn't just about now, but about the future. We design for change, understanding the things will alter over time. The changing seasons, changing attitudes, or changing climate how respond to these changes will shape sustainable progress in the years to come. These principles are starting point for an understanding of permaculture and can begin to give us an idea on how we can translate true to action and transition to a more ethical and truly sustainable way of life. So, advantage of permaculture. A permaculture garden provides food and medicinal crops. Wildlife habitats, crafting materials, an attractive appearance, and a private relaxing atmosphere throughout every season. These types of gardens produce food by using a variety of vegetables, herbs, fruits, and flowers. So, kay may advantage siya, may harap siya sang disadvantage. Even though permaculture has many important advantages, there are also some problems related to this agriculture practice. It is article, the pros and cons of permaculture are examined. Implementation of permaculture can be costly. Short-term losses versus long-term benefits. Farmers are used to it, are not used to it. Skepticism regarding this new concept. May conflict with local customs. Unwanted bacteria and pests may spread. Religious concerns. Economic growth may be slowed down. Knowledge regarding permaculture is still rather limited. May not be sustainable for mass production. Permaculture involves plenty of work. May lead to unpleasant smell. It takes time to see the benefits. Permaculture can look quiet, may 
So, how can you practice permaculture? Because permaculture is a comprehensive dynamic system, it can be practiced in different ways and at different levels. To help you begin to use permaculture in your life, the, the rest of this course will present. First one is the ATEX or the philosophical core of permaculture. Second one is the SAM principles. Guidelines, this, this will serve as guidelines for applying permaculture. Number three, the strategies. Uh, goals to help you focus as you apply permaculture. And the last one is techniques. Con concrete ways you can apply permaculture. So, who is practicing permaculture? Besides permaculture practitioners who study and learn about permaculture and consciously use permaculture to live in a more sustainable way, there are many people who practice permaculture without realizing it. Concerned, uh, concerned environmentalists, organic gardeners, conservationists, land use planners, urban activists, recyclers, indigenous peoples, and anyone working toward creating a sustainable human civilization. The reason for this is that the philosophy of permaculture draws on a lot of ideas and practices that had been around for a long time. So the difference between organic gardening and permaculture. So in organic gardening, um, it can gain a higher yields per product, but fewer, fewer products. So, second one is products ripen at the same time. Next one is pest control closely monitored. And the last one is mostly human labor. So, laborious ang organic gardening. Permaculture. Wider range of products including food, fuel, recreation, and habitat. Use of garden to nurture home, deflect, when give shades and filter air. Water catchment determines shape of garden. Localized source you see reuse resources. Integrated pest management. And sharing the harvest with working animals. So that's all. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you so much, Mr. Jimboy Villarma. So before we proceed with our next topic, we'll first continue with the quiz that was given earlier by Mom Flora. So may I ask Professor Roger Flora to please facilitate with the quiz. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Um, please do ready your... Um, your uh, the my quiz that uh, join quiz dot com. Naka join na kamo. For those in YouTube, uh, please open uh, join my quiz dot com that I've shared to you. So for the third year, you open ko na yung code. Okay, so. Wait lang ha. Picturean ko ang code kag i-send ko sa inyo. Okay. Wait lang. I will share kadi my 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 screen. I will share my screen and you can see Wait for a few minutes. Ay na. Makita niyo na ang screen ko. Yes, ma'am. Oh. So, please enter the code. 06. Zero six. Uh, go to joinmyquiz.com. And then uh, enter the code uh, 069422. For BSA 3, who is also joining us right now, 
kindly send me a message if uh, you were able to follow. Nakita ninyo ang ano? Ara na. So may ara na nga nagsulod sa akin ni tatlo. Hello guys. Ara sa screen. Naka-show. So, Niora is here already. Perche. Rene. Um, si Sir, uh, si Hello. Tatay Nestor. Si Tatay Nestor. Hi, ma'am. Si Tatay Nestor, ma'am ang upod ko. Paano siya? Mm. Okay lang. Kami lang, ma'am, diba? Ma'am, kami. Ito siya, ano, isa ka kwan. Isa ka cellphone. Pero okay lang, ah. Sige lang, ikaw lang daw join. Kung ka mo nga duwa, yeah. kung magdaog ka, te, duwa ka mo. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, may ano, gali, price. Thank you, ma'am. Actually, may 100 load. <laughs> wow, for the first, that's... for the winner. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Thank you. I have 12 participants here already. I have 14. So, I will stop um uh, we will start no later uh, i give uh, five min uh, five minutes three minutes three minutes for others to join so that we can start this a third year you may uh, join also i already uh, sent again the link for join my Okay, I have 19 already. So I think another is coming. So 40 year, you must all, of, all of you must join. 40 year. <laughs> oh yes, 40 year. Tanan ka mo, hambalo niyo ko 40 year, naka-join na ka mo, tanan ha? Yes ma'am. 40 year. Yes ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Le Lizelle, yes, yes, the code is, uh, amo na siya ang ginsen mo. Oh yes, nakita ta ka, Mark, ipangan, nakita ta ka. Fourth, uh, fourth year, nakajoy na tanan? Hindi lang, good ma'am. They're all good. Ha? Huh? Sino na nakajoy? Nakajoy na tanan? Please let me know, let me know. Third year. Naka-join na ko. Third year. Naka-join na ko. Pwede, pinahulat pa ko sa fourth year. Hulat ba? Wayne, may joy. Chilling. Ayan, praise the Lord. For cheap. Dudoy. Jim Boy, Jeff Regin. Si the JP, wala pa, Guru. Sinang wala? Si Josephine. Jo. Join sa link. Jo. Ang yung share ni ma'am. Josephine. Huh? So, so, I have here Penelo Penelo sa third year Pero ang lawagon ko lang Ang fourth year Sino si Jenny? Fourth year ne? Lenny Jeffrey Shari uh, Joy Ella Ah Ella Jean Jeffrey Jim Boy Tatlo Apat Tima Anom, uh, ito, walo, siyang pulo. So, so the contenders for this quiz? We have, 20, 20, 20, 20. We have 26, no? 26 participants for now.
we have 29 car. So first we'll have the the winner will have 100 pesos worth of load that will be sent later. And uh, for a second will be 50 pesos worth of load. That's until second lang. <laughs> okay. Uh, one minute more. One minute left, I mean. One minute left. So the contenders we have Marbel, Macris, uh, Tuarez, John Mark, Russell, Leona, Penelo, Ian Chris, Mary Grace, Mark, Ray, Jenny, Gwen, Rainro. Mam Ray, Mam Ray, Bila Sunday ya, Ed. Step. Na cancel ang price guro.
Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Hello ma'am. Ma'am. Hello. Sorry guys, na dula ako na connection. Ha? Ano to? Nagsulod ka mo. Wait lang, wait lang. Mahatag ko liwat, mahatag ko liwat. Wait lang. I-send ko lang sa ano? Sa chat box. Wait lang ha. Pinadula akong connection. Zero one, zero... May load ko? May load ko. Sila. Hello. 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 Ma'am. Ma'am. Lynn. Wait, ma'am. Aylen, nagi bisyo nag ma'am, pag start ko nagi connecting. Proceed lang tanay. Hello. Proceed na tanay. Nasend lang ko bago nga ko later. Nagano siya. Oga ang proceed lang. Ah, sige sige ma'am. Wang. Proceed lang na isa next speakers. Wang Wang. Weng. Hello. Ikaw na Weng kay si Jenny. Wala ako na Weng. Tige. Da lang i ano to kanay. Nanay lang nga. Okay, so this time we're going to proceed to our next topic which is the integrated farming to be delivered to us by Miss Rowena Tolonet. Weng.
Ma'am? Ma'am? Gadula, connection ni yes, Weng. Gadula, man connection ni Weng, okay. ma'am. Okay. Hey, hula, hula, hula. Gadula. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, sige, sige. Ting. Sige, matry tabi liwat. Sa joinquiz.com. Oo. Tanay. And then, isa na. Very well. So, balik kita kay Kwan. Okay. Ang quiz, ni kaging na, ma'am, layo naman. And then, yung pagdayo nun. So, same lang. Same lang. Same lang. So, there you go. Okay, wala ako ito ma, ano. Nagsulod, git ka mo ito. Naka-answer na ka mo. Kay pag balik ko sa link. Oo, to start na ma'am. At sige. Ma, balik lang taluat. So, kay luwat ng ano. Okay na. Makita na ko. Screen ko. Wait lang. Wait lang lang. Wala. Is trying. Tara. Hindi ko makita. Hindi ko makita. Seven, seven, zero. Ha? Di share kit ng screen, ma'am. Hindi mo makita ako ng screen. Hindi. Nag-share ko sa... Kita mo? Kita mo, Jen? O, ma'am? Ma'am, pagkon. Bago mo code kami ito, ma'am, Ray. Sige, pwede po. Sorry sa live. Nag-ano siya. Ito. Pwede na kang join. Hindi ko join si Lizelle, ma'am. Pero makasulod ka? Hindi. Hindi ka kasulod? Kasulod na ko. Okay na ko yun, ma'am. Kasulod na ko, ma'am. Okay na ko, ma'am. Sila ni Lizelle lang kuro, hindi ka sulod. Sa, sa code niya mo na eh. Dangit try dang ang bagong code lang. Sa 7-7. Hindi ko maano. Yog. <laughs> ano ang bagong code ma'am? Seven seventy. Seven seven zero one seven two. One seven two. Hindi ko makita ang ino. Nakajoin ka na, Len? Ah, ma. Masulo na. Ah ah. Sa seven seven zero one seven two ng ako. Arin naman di si Wang. Oo, nakasulot ka na. Ah ah. 22, ma'am, yung participant. Hina, ang tiyang. Ila ka participants? 
22? Oo. Sa 770712? Ah, ma'am. 0172. Hindi siya po. Ang silisar ka sa load sa amunin ng code, ma'am. Hindi lang. I-share ka din. Share. Copy link. Wait lang ha. Oh, wait lang. Dam, ano ka mo? 24 25 25 Okay na Okay na ma'am oh, Sige ah In Masalod na si Giselle In one minute May start ah Len Len Picturean mo Len ha I-screenshot mo. So, I will start now. Ilan na ka-participants? Hindi ko di makita sa ako niya. 26, ma'am. 26. Okay. Mas start na ko. Okay. Sige ah. Twenty-six. Yep. Nai-isha ya hao? Twenty-seven. Shash. Nai-isha ya hao? Tas ko ah. Ngayon lang. Okay, ma-start ko ha. Guys. Ma'am. Ready na. Ready na kayo ma-start ko. Yes, ma'am. In
Hello, by Renz. Still, Regal, you go on the top. Followed by Renz and Jim Boy. So, I'm sorry, Natanan, Len. Lenny. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Newtonan. I'm sorry, Newtonan. Gabalik-balik. Ang, mm. ang, ang quiz, wala. Ang iba nang ga-error sila. Gabalik-balik, ano? Gabalik-balik sila. Gabalik-balik sila. Kaya nga, gadula ko naman. Tapos hindi na rin makasulog. Ah, sa ano na? Signal? Signal ko na siya. Okay, I will end in a few minutes. Rank one is the Regal Yeko, followed by Daniel John. Next is Jim Boy. Okay, in one, in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, B, two, one. Banana, naka answer tanan. La pa? So I will not wait for others to complete the questions. Because we have the winner, I guess. Yes. So okay. I can see here, Ray Gallego on top, followed by Jim wow. Boy Villarma, Daniel John uh, uh, on the third, Renz on the fourth, and fifth, May Joy Magoy. So congratulations to Ray Gallego for winning the quiz for this first webinar. So Yay. thank you so much. Congratulations, Jim Boy and Yes, Jim Boy and Ray Gallego. So Ray Gallego, the first and second Jim Boy Villarma. So thank you so much guys. Thank you, ma'am. Let's move on to the next uh Topic. Thank you. So, congratulations to our winners. So, this time we're going to proceed to the next topic, which is the integrated farming. May we have Miss Maria Ruena Tolones to discuss to us about this topic. Wang. Come on, good morning. Good morning, Wang. Good morning. Good morning, Wang. Good morning, Tol. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Integrated farming. What is integrated farming? Integrated farming is defined as a biologically integrated system which integrates natural sources and regulative regulated mechanism into farming activities to achieve maximum replacement of farming inputs and sustain farm income. The productivity of the diversified cropping system always tends to increase when it is in integrated with the, the dairy, poultry, and fishery components. An integrated farming system or IS helps farmers to achieve maximum returns and income from different components, thereby improving their standard of living. Integrated farm system, or ISS. What is an integrated farm? An integrated farm utilizes in one location. Each unit is designed with efficient efficiency that is it uses up inputs on the farm process from through a process and produces economic outputs. Each unit products by byproducts for sale. The main products uh, are either used on the farm or sold on the open market. The waste and the byproducts become the inputs for an important product. Key principles of integrated farming system. The cyclic. The farming system is essentially cyclic or organic resources, livestock or crops. Therefore, management decision related to one component may affect the others. Rational. Using crop residues are more rationally 
is an important root root out of poverty. For just poor farmers, the correct management of crop residues together with an optimal location of scarce resources leads to sustainable production. Harvesting and relocating nutrients. Crop residues are sometimes stored, but most are left in the field after harvest. Opportunistically, grazed and often underutilized and spoiled. And land users can attack animals on crop land or otherwise collect, sometimes store and process, and spread manure on crop land to fertility enhance production. In agropastoral system, animals graze freely during the day in are in pens, enclosure for cattle, goats, and sheep, sheep, or on crop land during the night. The balance of feed that an animal consumes influences the properties of its gaseous emissions, especially methane. And manure management is important in this context. Dual purpose crops for feed. Enable farmers to increase unit area productivity with the same resources. Addition or control of species involved improving grazing and true planting high value species. Example, grasses or multipurpose shrubs, trees for incre increased biomass production. Enrichment planting, educating invasive species by selecting selective cutting while simultaneously encouraging natural regeneration of desirable local species. Under dry condition, water harvesting techniques can be useful. Haymaking, haymaking. Haymaking allows the building up of reserves for the dry season from surplus in the wet. Storing fodder helps animals animals to survive during dry periods without heavy uh, graze the land. It is also the buffer in extreme drought when market prices for animals are very low. The conservation of fodder as hay or silage, however, has not been a common practice in small-scale farming system due to a lack of information on conserving fodder under tropical conditions in the Brazilian of local breeds to harsh condition and poor diets. This figure integrated farming stem models simulate, simulates materials and nutrients flows or various farm production system over many years for weather to predict the long-term performance, environmental impact, and profitability of the farm. This <laughs> This is the example of the diagram for, for the flow sang pagana sang integrated farming. Example ang siya sa mga hay or rice rice bran kung ma ano siya bala kung ma kung harvest na siya. Gina, gina, ano siya, gina separate ang mga hay, kag gina iban, gina pakaon sa mga farm animals. Pag ang farm animals, ang ilang manure, gabak ng oil, kag gina, gina decompose, kag i, ano naman siya, look sa, kumbaga i, i absorb naman what sa iban na, na plants, na i-plant naman sa soil. Next, ecologically sustainable. Combining ecological, sustainable, and economic viability, the integrated livestock farming system maintains and improves agricultural productivity while also reducing negative environmental impacts. Benefits of integrated farming. Integrated farming saves money by utilizing waste. 
Integrated farming could be turned into organic production with better prices for produce. If a biodigester is adapted into an integrated farm, it will produce biogas and save the family the cost of buying cooking gas or labor to collecting firewood. It would be part of the low carbon development strategy and could also be eligible for payments or carbon markets. The biodigester solves the problem of the disposal of the waste from the pig pens, which can be an instance of labor. Integrating farming is actually worthwhile in isolated communities of the hinterland which is not depend so much on inputs from the from the cost. Different levels of the gaming system. There are many ways of achieving integrated farming, where the waste from one farming operation is used as input into another operation as shown in the table. The incorporation of duckweed production into an integrated farming system benefits from the fixing of carbon dioxide in the air to be assessed by the duckweed. Farming. Samples. Um, katol plus sang danya sang takwid. Tapos ang pigs plus sang takwid. Pili man siya maupod. Tapos, ang polte, kagang takwit, pwede mo siya sa... O lang ka to, pwede makaproduce naman na siya sa biodigest ang katol, ang polte, para balance mo na nila na pag... pag ano to ni? Ang nila nga... ang ilang hatagay or inputs at outputs nila nga uh, magbuligay man sila sa isa ka area. Number two, components of integrated farm. For example, guys, ang ano, integrated farming. Ang sa unit A, unit E, water from fish pond. Ang water from fish pond, ano, ang mga siyang project. Tapos, ang ilang ma... Uh, ang sa water na sa fish pa, makaproduce sa kanong sa 1,600... Hello, Len. Len. Lenny. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Dula si Wen. Dula si Jin. Si Wen to ko si Jin. Si Wen na. Si Wen. 
Okay. Jen? 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 Hi, left. Dula. Dula man sa. Ah, this is yeah. No choice. Mm -hmm. Bella tonta. A bad action. If not. So. Bye, nota. Ah. Uh, Mamove ta sa next nya part. Hello, Jen. Hello, Jen. Jenny. Oh, lad. Go. Go. Okay, Nisa, ma'am. Ah, okay, Nisa. Oh, I'm not replying. Okay. Jen? Jenny? Okay. Jenny. Sige. Sige. So, si Weng, mm. hindi naka-join. So, si Jenny. Jenny na lang sunod. Okay, mama rin ako, ma'am. Oh, sige. Ikaw na lang. Take over. Try ko na. Start ka na lang, Jen. Okay, okay. Try dynamic farming. Present ya. Okay na ma'am. Okay na. Sa rain row. Okay ma'am. Oh, sige, sige. May topic is biodemic farming. Introduction. Biodemic de derived from the Greek word bios or life and daimos or energy. The name biodemic refers to, work, to a working with the energy which create and maintain life. Biodynamic. 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 Agriculture refers to the agriculture science yans, uh, that recognize, recognize the principle At the work, at the work in nature and applies this knowledge of life. Forests that bring about balance and healing in the soil. It is a method of farming that aims aims to create a farmer as a living system, which in, interact with the environment to build healthy soil. Jen? Dula si Jenny. Dula man si Jenny. Okay. Kaya sige, pa kung naman minulan. Ah, sige. Sige lang gang. Na, hindi. Gid sa kasulot. Sir Rain Row, are you still there? Sir Rain Row. Yes, yes. Yaga ma'am. So, okay. Din ka? Ano ma'am? Din ka? Sadiin ka ka pa niya ga? Mom ka, mom ko ma'am. Balay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, we will just end this webinar. Kaya balay na sa kay, ano? Ah, okay. 
Basi may mga question sa mga speakers nga nag speak uh, kagina. Shalane and Jimboy. So, any of you have questions? Or say, Sir Rain Ro, may question ka erase for them? Oh, sana on. Wala man ma'am, okay man ah. Sir Rain Ro? Wala man ma'am. Okay. Sige, say Jimboy. Hello, Jimboy. Jimboy. Okay. So, uh, let's hear then the question na lang at on webinar. So, please uh, introduce our Rain Row. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Ano to, ma'am? Ah, oh, sorry. Let me get started. So, to formally close our webinar for today, may we have Instructor Rain Row T. Herrera, Extension Coordinator GSC Baterna Annex. Sir. Hi guys, sorry kagaw lang ko rin nga ba? Okay. Kita nyo po. Hindi ko naman kita. Open. Ha? Kita na ma'am? Open. Hindi pa? Hi ma'am Leia. Hello. Ano pa si Hello. Sir? Hello. Hello. Ginay mo ka. Wapang kamera na siya. Gwapo eh sir ba? Grabe ba ganda? Yes. Alaman ka mo gwapo ba ganda? Sana all gwapo. Peace out da. Peace out. <laughs> Ang time niyo tanan, be. Leo ko, be. Oh, kaya ba picture ta? Picture? Kaya ko picture nga rin, no? On your top, please. Ako yan, hindi ko yan makita. Nga man, no, Mau. May teknik na rin. Ang buta? Gaya ko yan pagpakita. Hansel, out. Sige. So, guys, ano? Actually, it's a good start, actually. Ma'am, Ma'am Rhea, kung rats, it's a good start. It's a good start sa side na ito, mag, ano, mag-undergo kita sa online. So, today, wala naman ito choice mo, kundi to appreciate ito ng isang pandemic. Ang matamaling na ni Sir, ni Ma'am Rhea, kag ni Sir Vergara. Appreciate ito na lang, kag actually, after you graduated, kung maubra ka mo sa mga agencies, actually, it's a good start. Kay, amuni, amuni, amun ka na yung set up sa ulihi, as paano, hindi na ako, hindi na, hindi na mag-ignorante, uh, hindi na mag-uha, hindi na mag-manol. So, pa-thank you ka mo kay Ma'am Rhea, kay, you know, very tech si ma'am so tanan tanan nga mga ideas vlog na ginano ya ginapa ginapa sample sa aton kay para man japon sa aton yes andal yo no congrats congrats sa next na team hopefully ang tanan nyo sumong problems wala man difficulty si ano ya i ano nyo na sa i address nyo na sa yes sir yes sir sino next na team group b na yes yes sir kag sa next dan kag sa next nga session nyo basi may first year na magsunod Pag may iba ng tanga participants ba? So, prepare. Pressured gamay. Joke lang. <laughs> may mga participants ito. From other... It's my invite kami ni Ma'am Rhea. Pag ni Sir Dean. Hmm. Ang gwapo man sa inyo. Hindi lang kung gwapo. Ang gwapo man. Si Rina Tonelion. Si Rigaccio. <laughs> si Jeffrey. Daw da joke how? Kag <laughs> <laughs> ano? Kag congrats. Cuts off. Saludo. Yes. Sige, sir. Thank you, sir. Ma'am Rhea, malang ito, Ma'am Rhea. Okay, thank you, sir, in row. Ms. Len. So, that's the end of today's webinar. See you on our next scheduled webinar. Be safe and God bless us all. Same to you. Thank you so much. See you, sir. Bye-bye. Be safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Be safe. Thank you, Ma'am. Bye-bye. Hmm. Halong ka mo, halong? Yes, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. I can now leave. Dudoy. Nagata, nagata. Ano, ano? Pressure ka na. Ha? Ma-pressure ka na. Hello for the next group. Sa so next group, please prepare. Prepare uh, ahead. Mga uh, one week na preparation para plastado na tanan. Uh, we have now experienced what we had. So, I hope we can, I know, we can address that uh, issues, no? For the next webinar. So, okay lang na siya. It's just, a, it's a good start for us. So, amugin na basta gaumpisa, we have uh, difficulty. 
So, next time, uh, I hope nga gamay na lang. Oh, hindi, tama na ma-perfect. Pero ka- kabay nga gamay na lang ato niya mga issues, no? So, yes. thank you so much. Bye-bye. Ma'am, gaya ng attendance. Ano ulit, ma'am? Ma'am? Send ko lang sa inyo, attendance. Oh, sige, Send sige, ko ma'am. lang. Oo, oh, sige, okay. sige. Bye-bye. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ha? Panyaga na. Sorry, no? Panyaga na, panyaga na. Come on, man. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Dili, enjoy your lunch. I will leave the call. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, kita na bilin. Napis mo na yun. Mayo. Arab sa Maria. Arab sa Maria. Ebak ako de. Wui, sigi na kagina record niya bilin. Bye bye. Thank you.